What you're going to do is log into your Gmail account, and once you're there, you'll go to manage your Google account. You'll look to the left and you'll see a few tabs. Click on security, and once you do that, it'll take us to the two step verification, which is down the bottom. Scroll down, and you'll see it's off. We're going to turn two step verification on. Now, once we do that, it'll take us to this uh, startup page. Scroll down and click get started. Here you'll have the chance to enter your password once more and yeah we're gonna have to do this a few times. But you'll enter your password and click next and this will bring you to the verification side. You'll enter a phone number in the section down here and then you can have it text or phone call. Click next once you receive your code and enter it, you'll get this message that it worked. Two-step is now on. Go ahead and click the next button. And now you're activated. Now from this point, you can just click the back arrow next to two-step verification because now we're going to create a new app password for our Xerox. This will take you back to the security tab. You're gonna scroll down and you'll see you now have app passwords. Right now you have none, let's create one. You're gonna have to enter your email password once again. Now we're gonna select an app. There isn't one for Xerox, so we're going to select other. Ours is gonna be the VersaLink C7020. And we're gonna click generate. Once we have our password, we're just going to copy this. And now we're going to select done. Now all we have to do is go to our machine. We can go to the web interface. I have it up here already. You'll select the web interface via your IP. You'll log in, enter your admin password. go to apps once you're there you'll see email come up click on email and then click on setup scroll down to your username and password replace your password with your new app password you just generated and then click OK. Now you can test this feature uh, from the device or if you have remote control panel on yours you can test it from there. We have remote control panel uh, this is a newer version link so we're going to test it from here. So we're going to scroll down go to remote control panel this will let us act as if we are standing in front of the machine. Select email we've already got our document loaded we'll pick an address Let's just send it to ourselves. And let's click send. If we're successful, this will show completed with a nice little green check. There we go. All right, let's go check our work. Make sure we got our message. And if we did, it should be in our inbox already. And there it is. There's our success message right there. All right, so this is how you fix the Gmail failure to scan uh, process. If you have any questions, hit us up in the uh, comments below. Hey guys, if you enjoy this sort of content, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that bell icon for notifications and updates. We'll see you on the next one.